Here we are, already into hour number four. Bated breath, by this time tomorrow, our new leader will have been sworn in for hours. The new coronation of the Savior, all our problems will be solved. Unless people in the public don't get behind the president. We are all one. Earlier you showed a photo from out there where it says, we are all one with Obama. And all the pundits are saying, Obama can save the economy. When I was on vacation last week, I watched more Fox and CNN and MSNBC than I normally do at night. And I couldn't believe what I was seeing. It was such classical, overblown, cartoon-level propaganda. And it was just both parties, you know, all these pundits going, well, Obama's got a plan. He's got experts that can fix it. But, you know, he'll give us a great economy. Everything will be fine if the people will join him and work with him and do what he says. And then I'd turn to the next channel and be the same thing. Obama, he can do it. He can. I mean, I, normally the media acts like the two parties are fighting and one party's got the answers and the other doesn't. And, you know, the government's not good, but the media will help you know what to do. And the government just just stupid and makes a lot of mistakes. Now it's just he will. He is perfect. Uh, so what if his new Treasury Secretary doesn't pay taxes? So what if most of Congress doesn't? That's only for us. We must do whatever they say. We must follow everything they say. We've got to get behind them. And, and the approval rating just goes up and up. It's just ah, oh, oh, I, I was from McCain, but now I like him. I am under your control, Obama. Obama. It's like body snatchers or something. And. Um, as the economy gets worse and worse, they'll say, got to do what he says. Oh, they need another banker bailout for the subprime mortgages. Oh, we didn't spend the money on the last one. We need another one. We need unlimited power. We've got to do whatever he says. Every Whatever he says. And if we just do it, it'll be all right. I mean, this is sick. And I just hate constant news with reporters going, this is wonderful. Oh, my God, it's so great here in D.C. Cut to the next channel. Oh, my gosh, it's so wonderful. Just smiling people. The reporters are all, oh, it's like heaven. Here, look at this crowd. The crowd's like, and the crowd just like going, oh, my God. Oh, oh I love everything. Oh, my. When I mean, you look at their eyes, we can show you video. I mean, I mean, you've seen them. They're on the news, and the eyes are all the same. It's just like, and, and you'll see men and women just going, you know, like one face will be gone. And then you look to the next person, they're going. And you'll see you'll see the crowd. I mean, everybody's there going. Ooh. I, mean, I mean, it's just everybody is, is just, oh, smiling radiantly and having quiet moments of reflection about how. And then person after person they cut to from the night he won and had the victory speech out there. It was women and men going, oh, my problems are solved. My bills, my children's future, my health care. It's, it's incredible. Everything is fixed. Oh, Obama. Obama. Oh, God, I love him. But the military's here. They're saving us. Oh, God, I love him. Meanwhile, all the shops are shutting down. Economy's folding. Everything's getting seized by foreign banks. Everything's shutting down. The bankers are stealing trillions a week. Trillions a week. It's rah, stealing everything. And then the publisher's like, oh, my God, it's so wonderful. Oh, my God, I love it. Oh, Bob. I mean, I'm not kidding. I'm like, what? I'm in a Twilight Zone episode. I mean, this guy is bringing in the most hardcore IMF and world bankers. Uh, just to fill his administration. This guy right here, Timothy Gethner. And it's like, well, he didn't pay his taxes. He doesn't. So what? No, Congress doesn't pay him. Over 65% of the Congress doesn't pay taxes. They just say, I don't care if it's a law, because this guy used to be involved with the IMF and World Bank. Of course he doesn't pay taxes to himself. That's where you write your checks to the Federal Reserve, the Regional Bank of International Settlements. You pay your taxes to him. And then he takes it and buys the military and the media and then charges you interest on the money you've got to pay taxes on. Look at him. It's funny. Look how he's predatory. Look how he's into being hardcore and savage. He's take your cancer shots. Let the CPS take your children. Let us engineer you. We know what's best. We're the super class. We're in control. And the public's like, yeah, so. Oh, Bubba. And people just going. Oh, I'm just savoring this moment oh, for weeks, just dancing. Oh, yeah. Tapestry of fraud and corruption. Um, 
So again, they get everybody scared. They say, give the bankers unlimited power or horrible things are going to happen. They then bring in Barack Obama as the savior, but this is a new wrinkle in everything. Because normally they kind of play the left-right paradigm and, 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 and you know demonize while at the same time building up a politician and create the illusion that they're running things and they're in charge. And that's happening with Obama, but on steroids. But there's nothing negative. It's just all praise and worship, and he can do no wrong. And the key here is they say over and over again with the pundits, do whatever Barack Obama says, and he will fix it. <clears throat> but the challenge, the media says, over and over again to the American people, is will you do what Obama says? Will you help him? Will you come in there and, and, and by helping him, will you accept national compulsory service? You'll get a free Starbucks coffee. And then notice how they introduce it. It isn't that it's going to be work brigades or spy forces or domestic military or 18 to 24 and a new domestic military. That's all announced in the fine print. That's what they're going to do. But at first it's, oh, we're going to, I need all of you to help at soup kitchens. Well, who's against soup kitchens? I go and do that sometimes when I have time. Give money to Mills on Wheels when I can't. But see, well, you're for soup kitchens, aren't you? Yeah, but I'm not for, it's like calling the Patriot Act the Patriot Act. When it's not patriotic, it's the opposite. Well, it's the same thing. This is mislabeling. And, well, you're, you're for national compulsory soup kitchens, aren't you? I mean, you got to roll your sleeves up and, and help Obama. That's how he's going to fix things. But So, see, on the news, it'll be soup kitchens and then, oh, and youth uniforms and kids marching around screaming, Hail Obama and and the and the mass media, the comic books, the culture. They've got Obama comic books, you know, where where he's Superman and, and Spider Man and he's the savior. You know, put out by Marvel Comics, going two hundred bucks a piece. Their first printing now into the third printing. Just oh my God, Obama! It's so incredible. He'll save us. He's Superman. Mixing false reality, the fiction reality, with reality. So again, Obama's coming in as the savior. He'll fix it all. You've just got to go along with the uncomfortable bad things he's going to do, like keeping FEMA camps open, keeping closing Guantanamo, but moving people to other camps. You've got to support all these new taxes and regulations. You've got to support the new carbon taxes. Uh, you've got to support new wars. Uh, you've got to support uh, more and more bailouts of the bankers. And they say on the news, you know, the public doesn't like the $700 billion being kept and it being, but they don't mention that it's secret, that they won't tell anybody where it's being held or that it's $8.5 trillion. But, you know, they, we have to do this. And so, you know, we better go along with Obama because, you know, he's got the group of experts that know how to fix this crisis when it's the same group of experts like Timothy Gethner who engineered the whole thing. And it was above the law and doesn't pay taxes. And was told he didn't pay taxes and said, I screw you. Just like 65% or more of Congress every year doesn't pay income tax. They just go, why? Why We rule. So they are going to build him up. I believe the stock market's going to go up for a while. People are going to say, oh, my God, he's really fixing things. We've got to get behind everything he says and everything he does. We've got to support the carbon tax on all CO2, methane, and every other carbon put off by life forms in every industry. We've got to put taxes on it. We've got to regulate it. We've got to have a guest worker program. We've got to have increases in foreign aid to help the starving, but really it's to euthanize them, sterilize them, uh, forced abortions. Uh, you know, we've got to get behind, just like Pat Robertson, they're all lining up, the comic books, the culture, the media, Fox News, Pat Robertson saying socialism will save us, Obama is the answer, we've got nothing will stop him, it is of the Lord God told me. And then the media with the images of just smiling happy crowds every day just going, Obama, Obama, just creating this hysteria bandwagon of stuff's real bad, stuff's real bad, but the news says that Obama's got a plan to fix it and if I just do whatever he says. If I follow, we have a real chance at this new world order. In order, <laughs> kill him good. I've got one that can see.